Hi, I'm Ryan from Yellow Card, and you are watching Hit the Floor. Uh, LP left the band um, just prior to the writing and recording of our new record, Lift a Sail. Um, we recruited a longtime friend, um, and uh, we are all huge fans of Anne Berlin and Nate Young, uh, their drummer, to come in and, and work on the record with us. So for us, it was a pretty seamless transition. Um, Nate was incredible to work with, and um, He's very much a songwriter in his own right, so he really approached the songs in a, in a new way for us um, from, from a drummer's perspective as far as, um, you know, he writes like melodies and lyric and stuff like that uh, on his own. So, um, so we really approached the writing of his parts for the record and stuff that way, and, and it was just, it was, it was awesome. I mean, I've, I've been a fan of his playing and his style and his band for so long. Um, so it was truly an honor actually to, to get to work with him. It was great. We are going to be heading out on a, on a uh, tour in the United States a week, um, almost exactly a week after Lift to Sail is released. Um, I think it's a pretty big thing. We're co-headlining the tour with a band called Memphis Mayfire. And a lot of people are kind of like, whoa, that's a crazy pairing of bands. Um, Amorosa is, is going to be the opener on the tour. So I think you know all three bands are quite independent of each other. Um, but we all agreed that... Um, we were just ready to, we've been friends with the Memphis guys for a couple of years now, and um, we all agreed that we were just ready to do something different and, and give um, music fans, you know? I, I hope that people are open-minded coming to the show and want to be a part of all of it, um, because this tour is, is for, for people who love music, you know, and people who um, are open to hearing all kinds of, of music, or you know, and, and because we're just tired of the same tour o o happening, you know, just over and over again. and. Um, and I think this is different. I think um, I think that our fans, uh, while Memphis is obviously more of, of a metal band and we're kind of more of a pop rock band, um, I really believe that our fans are going to find out when they get in the same room with each other that they have a lot more in common than they think. Um, and I think that's what we're both counting on. Um, so it's going to be going to be awesome. We're playing uh, some, some pretty big venues for us, you know, and, and uh, to be doing this 15 years in and headlining, co-headlining some of these venues is really fucking cool. People have been talking about how the Warp Tour in the States has kind of been leaning heavier. The music has been kind of heavier and more, I, I, there's too many genres for me to try to list what they are, but heavy is the word I will use. And they have, if that's what they think about the U.S. Warps, they had no idea what was going on over here because we were just like, man, we are going to get killed. Like someone's gonna kill us. Like this, these, this is like a full-on just raging metal show for you know. Um, but that was not the case. The shows were amazing. But the first day we were definitely a little bit intimidated that we were kind of like fish out of water sort of vibe. Um, the show was super heavy over here and and um, but super super receptive and and uh, you know I mean we we had as always on Warped Tour amazing shows every day. Um, it was amazing. I, I've, I've been told it was kind of the highlight of the, sh the show, so that's always a good thing um, to be a part of something like that. But, I mean, just what a cool idea, you know, and, and those guys are so much our buds, you know. I mean, they're, we've gotten, I mean, I remember, and this is going to really make me sound older than I'd like to sound when I do interviews, but, I mean, in 2007, we were on War Tour, those guys were like 17, and they were on, you know, some Hurley side stage thing or whatever they were on, you know, and then obviously we just disappeared for two or three years and they became, you know, the biggest band on War Tour. You know, they were just huge. And so, um, so we have a lot of history with them now. They, they really kind of helped bring us back to life uh, by bringing us on tour, not only uh, in the States, but also here in the UK. Um, and, you know, opening a whole new generation of fans up to Yellow Card by, by being able to open for them for as many months as we did. So it, it was an honor to be asked to do it. And being up there with the guys from Newfound who are also super, super close, um, you know, friends of ours for many years now. It was, it was awesome.